Hello everyone and welcome back for another one of Xander's One Shots. We're going to be trying out Echo Arena today, which is a, well, from what I can tell, it's a bit like a um, uh, zero gravity Tron alike, um, like with the, uh, with the disc throwing and, uh, well, it, let's take you through the tutorials first of all, just to show you the kind of thing that the games got involved. Manual Dexterity. So the very first thing that really impressed me about uh, this game, uh, other than the fact that it's uh, currently free uh, so that you can uh, test it out, is you have proper hands with proper arms. Now, that is really, really weird, being able to... I, it, it almost mimics yourself, but it gives a real sense of self. And also, I've got legs! I can look down and I've got legs. Um, right, so the very first thing is... Closing hands, extending index fingers. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. So we're going to grab this, and ooh, ain't that pretty? Throw the disc into the goal in front of you. No. Oh. Press the hollow button to <laughs> Let's try that again. Of course, earlier it was perfectly fine. This time, not so much. Excellent throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Oh, 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 oh. It's so cool, actually, having hands. Module M. Having hands in a game is a real basic big thing. So, basic motor functions is going to teach us um, how to move around this zero-g environment. So... First thing we can do is we can push that out of the way. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. Pull this back. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. And what we can do is we can grab onto these things as we go along. And it, it because it's zero G, my brain's telling me that I am actually moving and I'm not expecting to feel to gravity. As I, let's grab that. I don't want to. Don't want to overshoot. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Okay, give me that. Okay, got both sides. Oop! I ah, smacked my face. Calibration module complete. There we go. Two o five. Maneuvering thrusters. So maneuvering thrusters give us a little bit of control over which direction we're going. But it is just a little bit. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move These wonderful things on our wrist. Gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now, these will push us in the direction that the thruster itself is going. The activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. It's very, very cool the method of navigation that they've got there. Right, so finger out, finger out, push. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Okay, Flybot. Oh no, we actually hit something. Reboot initiated. Oh jeez, that doesn't look good. Alright. So we're not allowed to touch anything at all. Oh my god, my poor boot. Thruster calibration at 50%. Alright, we can just power on through here. Careful not to touch the edge. There we go. Nearly home. Like swimming. Swimming through space. Now, obviously having wrist mounted boosters is, yeah, it's good for like tiny bits of navigation, but really what we want is we want the big thrusters. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. It's a little bit low. Please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. Okay, so by pushing down, well it'll. 
grab that. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Now this actually boosts us in the direction that we're facing rather than Ooh. <laughs> rather than uh, the direction that our hands are going. And breaking thrust is the same just on the other side and they slow us down. Out of the way. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. Okay. And we go. There are two target zones in the next room. Stop. Boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Success. Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone B. Complete. We're good at flight. Okay, so straight after you've done the tutorial, it should take you into a game lobby. And this is where I haven't experienced anything further, so let's see what we've got. Welcome to the Echo Arena lobby. Here you can meet other players, hone your skills, and customize your appearance before or between matches. But before you explore, I will first go over the basics of social interaction within Echo yep, Arena. Don't lose my now because of this. Huh. Your conduct has a substantial impact on the experience of yourself and others. That makes sense. It is imperative to treat other players with respect and to help maintain a positive Echo Arena community. Of course. Please refrain from any conduct that could negatively impact other players. Any misconduct could result in severe consequences for you as a player. Hmm. <laughs> You are equipped with an arm computer that you can access from either one of your wrists. You can open it by swiping the tab out in the direction of your hand. Look at that! Your arm computer will display a list of players present in your current lobby or match, with information and statistics about each player. That's now please exit very cool. the activation pod and follow me to the center of the lobby, where we will begin our tour of the facility. I kind of want to jump into a game and see what it uh, see what it entails. Uh, right, so we're going for. Oh, stop! <laughs> uh, let's let's do this with wrist thrusters. You may find it useful to try out our various practice areas before starting your first match. I think that's a, is critical a good plan. Success within the arena. When you feel ready to enter a match. Uh huh. So by using one of these matchmaking terminals. So. This concludes our tour. Practice areas up here. And good luck. Stop and grab and turn. Grab that. <laughs> and so, obviously, we're going to be trying to score using these, but I wonder how we get. The discs. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Hey. My first time in Zuckerberg's week. That's when suits aren't getting used. This is very, very cool, and I suspect it's going to take a long time to get used to. It's like even just trying to get to a disc. Oh my word! I managed to get like a little boglin thing. Let's throw that over there. Oh, make sure. Yeah. I'm trying to practice throwing a disc. It's really not easy. <laughs> wow, this is the most mind Ah, so you can you can also change your orientation. Oh, there's All right, hang on. Grab <laughs> no, you're auto grab range. So when you get close enough, apparently you will grab things. Oh, you can grab people's butts. <laughs> All right, and then throw back from that. Ooh, this is going to take a very long time to get used to, but this is this is very very cool for being able to see what VR can do. No, it sounds like you. I'm making a YouTube video. I'm I'm doing a little uh, tester thing. 
That's exactly. <laughs> so how are you doing? Have you uh, been playing this long? Uh, I've been playing for about three days. Ah. Yeah, it's um, it it takes a while to get used to. Oh my word. Uh, no, I've, I've literally only booted this up about 20 minutes ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've, got, I've gone through the tutorial. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting it's going to be very well controlled, but, uh, oh, wow. I'm really. Oh, yeah. <gasps> nice one, nice one. Awesome. Well, this is going to take me a bit of practice, um, so I'm going to dive out now. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, maybe after I've had a little bit of time testing things out, we'll come back and we'll actually record a match. This is going to be my first game, so uh, oh. sorry if I'm bad, but we'll. Oh. Sorry. I'll just grab onto you then, why not? I'll grab onto you. Oh, that doesn't work! Never mind! <laughs> well, that's fine, that's fine. I'm going back in. I'm going to get bodied. Oh, they're not even close to this kit, though. I guess, I guess they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it's entirely possible. I mean, you've got to learn at some point, don't you? Oh, oh no, we do. do. Ah! So... Okay. Well, that's that's an easy one then. <laughs> what were you guys doing in there? <laughs> I think I think they're fighting. <laughs> Are you guys? They're having a team powwow. Get out of there! I guess they're just chilling out. Yeah, possibly. Grab onto me if you don't have that. Alright, way! Okay, I've got your head. <laughs> Off with your head. Are they coming out this time? I uh, don't see them yet. I see them. There they are. I, I definitely. <laughs> no! Oh no! We gotta use our, our, uh, ourselves. Throw ourselves forward. Blue oh no! Out of there, so. Okay. Another thing you can hold onto your. Enter any play on. 
push forward. So you uh, are yeah. Bam. Double kill. Hold the disc until. Nope, 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 nope. Take the disc from you. Go to the goal. Go to the goal. I'm gonna get one. Go, 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 go. go. Not you, red guy. My guy. This oh, stole it. Ah, okay, learning sort of. Well, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> Nice! Nice one, mate. Nice one. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for the game. That was good. I really would have... So, Echo Arena is quite a bit of fun. Uh, apologies that that footage was uh, was quite short. Uh, in the end, only my uh, first game ended up recording properly. Um, I've played a bunch over the last, uh, well, couple of hours, I guess. And it does get a lot better to learn. The thing that, uh, that initially threw, uh, threw me the most is being able to turn your point of view with the thumbstick. Um, once you get that down, then your actual direction and where you're moving, uh, especially in such a, a limited space as this, because I've, I've got the sofa right behind me here, um, it means that I was turning around quite often and feeling like I couldn't move forwards and also punching people. You actually had to, uh, it's something that doesn't teach you in the um, in the tutorials. You have to 
pull the triggers so that you make a fist and then actually connect with their head and that knocks them out for a little bit of time. You saw I did it once in the um, uh, in the first game and uh, it, it got done to me a couple of times. The confusion between doing that and grabbing the lower triggers in order to actually grab hold of stuff, once, uh, once I realised there was the two different mechanics, the game's got a little bit better but I, I still haven't scored yet. Still haven't scored. Got a long way to go before I actually get any good at this, but this has been another one of Xander's one-shots. If you are enjoying these, be sure to give a big thumbs up, and, uh, well, I guess I'll join you uh, next time for something completely different. See you soon.